Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 update 1.41. So the AFK money method is still very much alive. Yes it's received a bit of a nerf um, since previous but it is still entirely possible to earn fully AFK money in GT7. More in line with the usual four events that we had previous to 1.40. This one spread like wildfire around my Discord and group chats. So I think it does originate from Rakinator. That's the Reddit post that about a hundred people kept sending me uh, so big shout out and all credit goes to him so let's get into this method itself the first thing you're going to want to do is use the honda beat there is currently one for sale in the used car dealership however it is on limited stock so be sure to go and grab a fresh new car um today to ensure that you know you don't have any irrelevant mods on that are going to affect the performance points so go ahead and grab one of those for 15 at thousand credits you'll also once again need the srt tomahawk x so go ahead if you haven't already and pick one of those up for 1 million credits you'll be earning all this money back with inside an hour and everything after is profit next up as usual we're going to engine swap the honda beat and once again it's the k20c1 civic engine that shows its face good old reliable is back 127,000 credits for that one go ahead and slap that inside the honda beat so in terms of other modifications, you won't need to add um, a wide body to this. Ensure that you've got it basically fully standard. So I'll take you through all the parts. And as you can see, I don't have any aero mods on. No different changes to the wheels. Uh, no wide body on the car. Just keep the car fully standard. You don't need to be putting money out on anything like aero, wings, bumpers, um, and the wide body, etc. And even the roll cage, keep that as standard as well. So leave all that as it is. In terms of the tuning sheet, here we go. We've got the k 20 c1 civic 2020 engine in it comfort hard tire at the front and racing soft at the rear fully customizable suspension on this one with the body height set to the highest at 180 for both anti-roll bar is going to be 10 for both compression is 40 for both expansion is 50 for both natural frequency is 320 front and 3.35 at the rear negative camber angle once again at the front is going to be 6.0 and 0.0 at the rear toe angle is 1.00 inwards at the front and zero at the rear fully customizable differential once again set the torque to 60 acceleration to 60 and brake into five nitrous installed as usual set this to 15 fully customizable racing transmission set it to 170 and then follow these gears the first thing you want to do is ensure that your final ratio is set at 3.500 gear one is going to be 1.992 dash 102 1.203 170 0.906-225 0.79 729-280 and 0.621-352 those are the gear ratios no ballast no ballast position either normal ecu don't change that high rpm turbocharger with an anti-lag system set to strong racing intercooler racing air cleaner racing silencer racing manifold all the brakes and such leave as normal don't add those on racing clutch and flywheel and then in terms of the perma mods it's going to be bore up stroke up polished ports and weight reduction stage one two and three do not increase the rigidity so with that done and out of the way we'll next move on to the tomahawk this one once again hasn't changed it's all about keeping the performance points as high as possible so once again you just need to leave everything at default apart from one single thing which is going to be the fully customizable racing transmission set it to 500 and then ensure your gears match these as you can see final drive is 5.130 and then first gear is 4.799-82 second is 4.797-82 third is 4.796-82, 4 4.795-82, 4.794-82, 4.290-92 and then the final on the 7th is going to be 2.001-205. So once again that hasn't changed from previous. Now in terms of the event itself there is a few slight changes to get this to run as best as possible. So you head over to Americas, go down to Daytona International Speedway and enter that. Go into Custom Race, 
onto the trioval. I'm going to load up my old settings here, and as you can see, it's going to give us a slight bit more money. Um, it's, but we're going to put it down to 23 laps. This is the best way to run it. As you can see, number of cars 20, starting grid 20, nitrous multiplier needs to be at 10 times once again. So ensure that you've got that set there. Equal conditions mode. It's up to you about the time of day and stuff like this. So you can just set it to pretty much anything. And then in, again, ensure that your arrivals are selected from the uh, garage itself. Uh, put it on open and then obviously ensure that the Tomahawk takes every place but the final one, which will be the Honda B set to professional and it should give you 326,600 credits. Now, the best way to do this is ensure that you've got motion sensor function on. So go into controls and turn that on. Then what you want to do is just ensure that you've maybe got something slipped under the left hand side of the controller so that it very slightly tilts to the right. This way the car will just run the wall the entire time and won't lose too much speed. Plus it does kind of reduce the chances of getting any stick drift or anything like that. Um, and again, it does allow the car to run much faster overall. I think there's around about a three to four second difference depending on how much you've got the car pushed up against the wall. So I do recommend the motion sensor, left hand side of the controller, just slide something under there. I think I used my notepad or something like that just to prop it up. Now in terms of the car, once you get to lap two, your vehicle should start overtaking the Tomahawks themselves. As you can see, they're gonna help you along with a bit of a slipstream and such. But again, you should have pretty much the entire grid overtaken by the time lap two is coming to an end. As you can see here, my car's just gonna go up against the wall, fully AFK, and then start making its way past the rest of the field. So I have heard people in my likes of the group chats on PSN and such say they've been averaging lap times of anywhere from around about 52 to uh, upwards of 56, 57 seconds per lap. So there does seem to be a bit of a difference depending on how far you kind of shove the car up against the wall. My average was around about a 55 to a 56 lap time. Um, in total, you're looking at around about 20 to 21 minutes to get this done for a single run, pretty much like the above. It is a little bit slower overall. And obviously the, uh, I guess, payout itself has taken a nerf. So in general, you are looking at around about 20 minute runs to get this one done for your overall payout, which means you can do it around about three times per hour. Even on the lesser amount, it still adds up basically in line with the you know typical four events we were running prior to 1.40 so again those events still not really relevant if you want to earn money whilst doing other things this is still the best way to go it is still fully afk after 1.41 so we finish up the event let's go ahead and have a look at the overall times check out the fastest lap and such and then we'll have a look into the payment itself pretty much a guaranteed clean race bonus every single time so I've not once had this fail on me yet. So as you can see, the B91 is going to be all of the Tomahawks by around about 25 seconds with those Tomahawk settings. We didn't manage to get the fastest lap. Our total time was a 21.29.631 for this run. Again, that's fairly average for this vehicle. And then in terms of the payout, it's 489,900 credits with the clean race bonus each and every single time. You can do this around about three times in just over an hour. So you are looking at a decent amount of money around about 1.4 million per hour fully afk after update 1.41 very much in line with the likes of tokyo sardinia and stuff from previous so again it's fully working fully afk after 1.41 this time it's the honda beats turn i don't think this one will ever get patched again the money itself is pretty much you know the standard and in line from previous so again whilst the money's gone down it's still very much in line with the typical four grinding events whether that be spa and such and it is still fully afk meaning that if you want to go about and get on with your day and do other things whilst earning some money in the background of gt7 to buy those more expensive vehicles whilst it does pay out less it is still fully possible once again thanks so much to rakinator um again and thanks to everyone in discord group chats psn that just kind of made me aware of this one again don't think it'll get patched i'll see you in the next one take care guys peace